My name's Harley, I'm 44... No, I'm fucking not, shit. Hi, my name's Harley, I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I've got fibromyalgia. Today's video is on a topic that I have seen few videos on, but I haven't seen like an abundance of videos on, and that is having fibromyalgia while being pregnant. Before we start, I just want to state that absolutely everyone is different. This is just my experience with being pregnant and with fibromyalgia, and you can think I'm a dickhead all you want, or you can agree with me all you want. I just want to say that it's my experience alone, and that doesn't mean that my experience and my opinions will happen to anyone else. Being so far into my pregnancy at the moment, I have resigned to the fact that I will not be looking hot anytime soon. So this mug is what we're dealing with and we're just gonna roll with it and we're all gonna be happy, okay? I'm on my second pregnancy, so I have been pregnant before with fibromyalgia, except I didn't quite know that I had fibro last time that I was pregnant. I had chronic pain and a lot of health issues, but I hadn't gotten a diagnosis yet, so I had no clue what the fuck was going on. And quite a lot of the things that I struggled with in my first pregnancy, I thought was quite normal until I realized uh, props not. My first pregnancy was last decade. It was back in 2018, which feels like so long ago. I was a lot younger. I was 19. Four years ago, I started making an ass out of you and me. She was planned. She took a lot to have. Different story, but don't be judging. By the time I fell pregnant with her, I had been in a lot of pain for a lot of my life. Um, a lot of it being endometriosis pain, but I was about a year into having this other pain that I was experiencing. While this other pain turned out to be fibro, it was still very, very different from what I experience every day now in life, even without being pregnant. <laughs> I did struggle within my pregnancy, but the biggest effects I realized was after I gave birth. Being a new mum, I was very tired and my body was exhausted. Stress, obviously, is something that sets off my flares as well, and I had a lot of crap happening around the time that I gave birth. After giving birth to Bean was when I first had issues with things like walking. The numbness in my arms and legs definitely ramped up. It was something that I had experienced before and I had experienced regularly, but it just became a lot more intense uh, after my first baby. There was a lot more pain, a lot worse everywhere else it seemed, and I feel like that's because my body took a massive hit and I don't know if it ever really, like, got its shit back together. Which brings me to this pregnancy. <laughs> Again, this pregnancy was planned and it's something that I thought about and I struggled with for a while. As I said, my pain got a lot worse after I had Olive and when Olive got to about a year old, I realized that I was really, really struggling and I was having quite a few hard days more than my good days. I knew that I wanted a second baby. I knew that I had to be pregnant again. So I very much, struggled with it but made the decision that I'd rather have a really hard few years but be able to raise my kids than wait down the track maybe not be able to have any more or get to a point where I might end up having to rely on Olive to help me out. I wanted to have my kids be kids as long as possible and just really struggle but at least do my best to give them the best life if that makes sense. So we decided to try again, and that is this baby, this pregnancy. As I said, everyone's experience is different, and my experience in this pregnancy has been a lot different to my experience last pregnancy. While I did have a lot more different pains and a lot more struggles, when I was pregnant, this one has ended me in the hospital a few times. <laughs> At six weeks, I got told I was miscarrying because of the amount of pain that I was in. Turns out it was just my body's reaction to my abdominal muscles stretching again. We were in hospital for quite a while and I demanded a ultrasound, which then they found the baby and realized I in fact wasn't miscarrying. This happened like two other times where I thought I was in labor. I've gone into hospital because of the amount of pain that I am in and the amount of distress that my body is going through. Um, and we assumed early labor or all that jazz um, ended up Pretty much it being put down to the fact that my body just really wasn't responding well to my body changing. <laughs> I can definitely see my body struggling as well in the everyday. The back pain that I've been experiencing, like normally neck life, but this time, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, my legs really not dealing with the fact that I put on weight. And that's something that while I have struggled with weight up and down in my own ways, the dogs went off um, and now I don't know where I'm at. I've just rewatched the last minute of footage I filmed and I still can't 
quite grasp where I was going with it. My point is, life in general at the moment, quite hard. If the way that my last pregnancy or post-pregnancy went is anything to go off, I think it's going to be a lot harder this time with one, having two kids, but two, my body obviously is not coping. Uh, and I don't know if it would be a wise thing for me to ever try for a third kid being how much worse my body's reacted to being pregnant this time around. Obviously, everyone is completely different. This is just my opinion. Also, just like anything, it's really hard because everything that I've experienced has been put down to fibro and just my body being an asshole. But whether that's actually the case or not, we really don't know because... It's just been assumed that it's been my body being a dick. I have lost a lot of feeling in my hands and my feet a lot more. Uh, every night, multiple times a night, I'll wake up because I've lost complete feeling. It's generally in my left arm more than anything. It's quite regular occurrence for me to wake up multiple times a night to try and gain feeling back in my hand. Um, I've started having a lot of face pain, which I had before I was pregnant, but now parts of my face go numb and um, my eye started twitching i don't know if that again has anything to do with fibro but just shit that i've noticed <laughs> being pregnant is hard in general being pregnant with chronic pain extremely hard uh sometimes i've felt that i have not been taken seriously because you've got a condition okay clearly yep all right that kind of really fucking sucks as well i know pain i know what i can deal with and i am found i'm at a point where i know that i'm can't take much more um and i don't feel like that's been taken into consideration a lot with doctors and midwives not to that's their fault you know when they hear that someone's like in a lot of pain like oh okay and i'm like yeah, no i'm in a lot of pain every single day regardless i'm at the point of losing my fucking brain this got real rambly real quick because i'd lost my train of thought but if you're wanting to be pregnant and you've got chronic illness or fibromyalgia like whatever it is i i love being a mum. if you want to have kids do it worth it but just Make sure you got the support around you, I would say, because it's hard sometimes. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe me, and you can also comment down below. You can also follow me on social media. It is all listed down below, and there will be a thing at the end of the video. I have to leave in the next three minutes in order to make my next doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'll catch you the next time I can be bothered. Bye.